A little bit of breaking news in the NFL today. Miles Garrett has been suspended indefinitely for his actions last night in, on Thursday Night Football, where he took Mason Rudolph's helmet and proceeded to bash him over the head with it. Um, I get you could say Mason Rudolph isn't the most innocent man in all of this. He shouldn't have gone after Miles Garrett's helmet. But up until Miles Garrett used the helmet as a weapon, it was nothing but a scuffle, and scuffles happen all the time in the NFL, and they get dealt with accordingly. Garrett took it to a whole new level. I I don't I'm not even just talking for quarterbacks protection, for player protection. You do not swing a helmet at another player, even if they are wearing a helmet. Nonetheless, not wearing a helmet. Um, you have to realize how much damage a helmet can do if you hit them in the correct spot of the helmet and on the head. If Miles had hit Rudolph with the crown of the helmet, Rudolph could be paralyzed right now, if not dead. Um, I don't care that Rudolph started it even though you can say Garrett did start it with the late sack. None of that matters. I don't care about the late sack anymore. I don't care about Rudolph going for his helmet. I don't care about Miles ripping off Rudolph's helmet. I only care about the part where it was used as a weapon. Um, you just can't do that. You have to be smarter than that. I get tempers flare, but you have to know what's an appropriate retaliation. And that was just not appropriate at all. It's kind of a weird analogy here, but if someone pinches you and then you shoot them for it, that's not an retaliate, that's not a, an appropriate retaliation. You have to know what's appropriate to do. Even if, even if Garrett would have just shoved Rudolph back down after he got in his face, whatever, it's a scuffle. Even if he had thrown a put, punch at him, whatever, that's a scuffle. You then, using the helmet as a weapon is taking it way too far. That's no longer a scuffle. That's putting someone's life on the line. Um, I I know there's there's some people saying Garrett should be suspended forever. I don't think I agree with that. He doesn't have a history of it. Um, if it was someone like Vontez or Nanook and Sue that has a history of being dirty, I'd maybe support that. But this was just a mistake, a really bad mistake that luckily didn't cost anybody a career or even a life um, but yeah as to breaking news miles has been suspended um, I don't know if Rudolph will end up being suspended I feel like I heard somewhere three games but I don't think that's fair what he did people do all the time but it doesn't happen it doesn't lead to suspensions um, people take or try to take people's helmets off all the time. They don't lead to suspensions unless you go for a punch or something. Um, it, it, I'm not necessarily defending either of their actions. Both should have had cooler heads and realized to stop. But like I said, Garrett took it way too far, and he's gonna have to deal with his he's gonna have to deal with the consequences. Um, if you do have to, if you do have to, um, what's the word? punish Rudolph, I think a fine at most is all you should do. A couple, I don't know how much an appropriate fine is, but if, if you do punish him, leave it to a fine. I don't think he deserves to be suspended for having his skull bashed in. Rudolph's really lucky. He got caught with the side of the helmet instead of the crown. Or else this could be a whole nother conversation. But, um... That's really all I have. Wanted to cover some breaking news, share my two cents about the incident that happened last night. Um, thank you all for listening.